And now, a Shakespeare in the Arb exclusive. Hello, Rich. Good, sir. How are you? Good. Great. Glad to be here. <laughs> awesome. Well, this is um, Rich Tolman. Right? Yes. And he is a professor at the School of Social Work. And we're, well, it's great to have him in our great production of The Winter's Tale, part of the Shakespeare in the Arb, uh, 2011. So tell me, good sir, um, what, are you, what, what role are you playing, or roles for that matter, are you playing? Well, last week, I played Antigonus, who is a lord who is assigned by the king to take his child, whom he believes to be the daughter of one of his friends rather than his own, right. to a remote place and desert the baby out in the wilderness to live or die on its own accord. So my character feels particularly cursed to have to take on this duty. And as he heads out on his way to do it, he tries to bring himself to do it. As he's doing it, a bear approaches. Attacks him. <laughs> attacks the baby he decides he's got to save the baby and mm -hmm. uh, draws attention from the bear to himself and is unfortunately eaten, not on stage, but off stage. And one of his arms is ripped apart, right? Yeah, shoulder torn off. <laughs> Which we don't get to see yeah. necessarily. But, um, and what is this new role you are taking up right now? And tonight I am playing the Lord. The Lord. A Lord. A Lord. The same role that, the... Uh, according to Brooklyn, he was playing Lord, etc. Yes, Lord, etc. And uh, you are replacing Brooklyn for now because he's busy with Uncle, Uncle Vanya. Vanya. Yes, he's, he's the main Shakespeare character. for Russian theater. <laughs> Chekhov. Yes. <laughs> right. So well, what is your approach to playing both characters? Well, I think it's, I have to say it's very interesting to be in the same exact scene, but seeing it from the eyes of a different character. So I'm just trying to somehow differentiate between the two characters, find a way in so that I don't feel like I'm just the same character standing right. in a different place but what if would you ever fear that your character you played before would creep into this character and lines would mix up anytime well i was worried about lines mixing up so i didn't memorize my lines for this character until after i finished playing the other character well, that's really good so i have to admit i'm a little nervous about getting my lines right tonight because <laughs> i've never said them on stage or in place before i've only mm -hmm. rehearsed them out of mm -hmm. uh out of place so it'll be interesting right. that's nice and so um, what, there was one line that you really liked before, right? When your previous character, which was it? Would you like to share that with the viewers? Oh, hmm. Would you want to give me a? It was I, that one so line. Many lines that I one liked. line that you really liked, and you would say it over and over again. You didn't know the meaning of it. Remember? Uh, no. You don't remember. No, I really it was the don't. one about the land. Remember? Wasn't wasn't that something you liked? I will land, damn him. Yes. No, exactly. What does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> it could opinion. mean, well, there's been many interpretations. Because I have my says, own interpretation, When I knew the villain, I would land damn him. So one interpretation is land damn means I would, like, hit him to the ground. So yes. damn him by smashing him to the ground. Another Put him into perhaps, the ground, yeah, like a flagpole or land something. Land damning right? could be, like, yeah, killing him, and he's buried in the ground. So he's right. damned by right. being in the land. Right. And maybe a third interpretation is I would remove his land from him. Being unlanded would make him, you know, less than noble and... Then he right. would no longer be powerful, and uh, could be that. Right, and or it finally, could be something completely different. <laughs> right, yes, it's up to enter. Shakespeare knew what he was thinking, but we don't know what he was thinking. We presume he knew what he was thinking, yes. but he might have just been looking for a good meter. Yes. Um, how is it being in the Arb? Working in the Arb. I love, I love being in the Arb. Is it? It's one of the best things about being in the show. You just get to hang out for hours mm -hmm. outdoors in the Arb. The Arb is like a jewel. It's a treasure. It's like so fantastic to be outside for so many hours in the summertime. Right. Well, um, I hope you're enjoying it. It's really nice. We were kind of backstage here, actually back, yeah. back forest or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Well, thank you so much for your time, good sir. Uh, I hope you do well today. Good luck. I just hope that this film comes out good or I will land damn you. <laughs> thank you. Yes, hope so. Thank you. Annie is working on the bear huh? right before the mariner scene. Hey, stop that! Stop yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. Stop what? You're gonna do a reality Not show. You. No? He... A reality show. Yes. See it's how hard. the bear like uh, molests the, <laughs> the costume designer. <laughs> the costume designer. Yeah. There was no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Enjoying See, some of us are working here, Jose. Jose's just having fun. Can you see it all? I can see you. 